Hi and welcome to our 25th test and measurement video. Right now we'll continue coverage of today's amazing oscilloscopes with a further look at the Fluke 190 502 handheld oscilloscope. As a member of the 190 series, it has fully insulated analog input channels. They are isolated from each other as opposed to sharing a common ground or being connected to the premises electrical system ground. This is a distinct advantage when it comes to measuring signals, one of whose sides may be presumed to be at ground potential, but actually floats at a higher level. Problematic point-to-point -point measurements can be taken without resorting to a differential probe. This feature is particularly useful when looking at variable frequency motor drives and three-phase circuitry. The 19502 model number reflects the fact that the instrument we are examining today has a 500 megahertz bandwidth and there are two oscilloscope analog input channels that accept B and C cable connections. Additionally, also arrayed along the top panel, are two banana jacks for standard multimeter probes so that the instrument can take volt, amp, and ohm readings. Today we are going to look at the math functionality of this instrument. As in bench oscilloscopes available from the major manufacturers, this math capability is standard, and it is quite useful in seeing how signals interact. For this demonstration, we have connected channel A to a 60 Hz sine wave provided by the utility supply via a premises branch circuit. Additionally, we have connected channel B to a 9 volt transistor radio battery providing a DC voltage represented by a flat horizontal line situated slightly less than two divisions above the X axis. Actually, both probes could be hooked to the same signal and there would be no harm in that since all channels are isolated, but we have used two different signals for clarity. To begin the current exercise, we'll default the machine. This is always a good preliminary operation before beginning a new project. To restore factory settings, first turn the oscilloscope off by pressing the power button. After the screen darkens, press and hold the user key. Then press and release the power key. Finally, release the user key. This returns the instrument to the factory settings. Be sure to turn channel B back on. The purpose of the math function in the Fluke 19502, as in other oscilloscopes of recent vintage, is to add, subtract, or multiply two signals that are accessed through different analog input channels, or to display the XY mode. There are other purposes as well, but we'll start with these. The instrument displays the resulting waveform along with the two source waveforms. The XY mode generates a plot in which the vertical axis depicts one input and the horizontal axis depicts the second input. In all cases, the math function performs an instantaneous point-to-point -point operation on the two inputs. We'll perform a math function. To begin, press scope to display the key labels. Then, as in many procedures, press F4 to open the Waveform Options menu. Highlight Mathematics. Press Enter. The next step is to press plus, minus, multiply, or the XY mode. A 
Again, press enter. The math function key labels will be displayed now. These key labels are scale, move, and XY mode on and off. Finally, press the up or down arrow to select a scale. Notice that the scale mode changes for the resultant, but not for either of the inputs. Thanks for watching. We'll be adding more videos on today's amazing oscilloscopes, so check back frequently.